Oh, hi there. Uh, today I will be sampling a uh, beer uh, by the name of um, Dos Equiotos. Um As Mexican as that sounds, it's just Mexican style. Um, it's really made in Whistler, I believe. Whistler Brewing Company. So it's definitely Canadian, where, wherever about that is, I don't know. Um, I haven't tried this beer before, but so far I'm not overly impressed with it. Uh, you may ask, how would you know that you're not impressed with it if you haven't tried it? Well, for starters, I opened it already, poured myself a glass, and uh, the instant I opened the bottle, it all came fizzing up. The thing just exploded on me. And, you know, it's been sitting on my table counter for a good two days. Absolutely no reason it should be doing that. Um, at least good beers don't do that. Unless they've done something horrible to them. Like, there was actually one time when uh, a beer called Delirium, uh, which I bought from a private liquor store, exploded on me. And Deliriums are good beers. I have no idea what they did to them to make them go like that. Uh, maybe there is actually some reason, maybe some beer ignorance fact on my part that I don't know about, because this beer is warm, uh, maybe that contributes to it, I don't know, but, um, I have, I'm an expert at opening beers, as I had demonstrated in my previous videos, I can open up a bottle cap without putting a single dent on the can, uh, bottle cap, and I did so with this one, but it still exploded on me. Anyway, we're going to give it a taste test, uh, see how it is. Keep it in mind, I'm drinking this stuff warm, but it's a very gross beer. Um, it wasn't cheap either, it was like 13 bucks for a regular six pack. It's 5%. Um, it's got some skeletons on the label like the labels pretty good but you can't go by alcohol based on what the label looks like because quite often they're misleading like they just may have real good designers and artists working for them or have sold them an idea and um, they were able to patent it and put it on their beers but um, offhand I'd say don't buy this beer I mean I guess if you want to go around trying alcohol and different beers and things like that then go ahead and buy it but um, other than that um, this is most certainly nothing to write home about um, yeah well um, I think I'm gonna leave it at that uh, nothing further to add um, yeah, it's gross. Anyway, talk to you guys later.